Once in a generation, an artistic voice emerges that has the power to change the world through creative expression. For the better part of two decades, Vaughn Stephen Kelly was that voice. His ability to capture the essence of the human condition thrust him to the forefront of the modern art world and changed the way people perceive not only art, but existence itself. The infamously reclusive artist and those that know him best gave our documentary filmmakers unprecedented access into his mind, allowing us to perhaps catch a glimpse of the man behind the legend. But what our cameras uncovered about the true Vaughn Stephen Kelly was both shocking and upsetting, as the man once touted as the greatest artist of all time ever by Art Forum magazine actually revealed himself as one of the greatest scam artists of all time ever. Whether he was the modern savior of artistic expression or the perpetrator of the most elaborate hoax in art history, VSK has made his presence felt the world over, and nothing will ever be the same. Vaughn Steven, you've been called the Jesus Christ of modern art. How do you respond to something like that? That's ridiculous. I mean, my art. Have you seen my art? It's, it's nothing. It's bullshit. It's random splashes of paint on a canvas. Like, I can't believe people think this. I mean, look. All this, this is all my publicist. I have to dress weird like this in public for, you know, photography sessions and stuff like this. It's all complete bullshit. But I mean, hey, what am I going to say? I live in a fucking castle. Ron Stephen Kelly is a, uh, he's a, he's a beast of a different nature. He's, 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 the, he's the purest form of the embodiment of his, 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 his particular art. He's a, the embodiment, I'd say, of a, a whole generation of movers and thinkers. And he's my cash cow from Metro Card to my back. Every day I spend money that he made me. Vaughn Stephen Kelly, why are you not attending your own premiere? I never go to my premieres. This is an art museum. You have an idea the kind of people that are in there? Art people. I'm talking tofu eating, sandal wearing, art people. Ugh. Don't you think that's a little disrespectful to your fans? Fans? Well, don't get me wrong, the idiots they are, my fans have made me fucking rich, but uh... I mean, they're the biggest suckers on earth. They take something that took me maybe 30 seconds to make and find some kind of inspiration or subliminal undertones for it and I mean what they're gonna pay me 30 grand for it I, I give my fans zero respect they're, they're idiots Vaughn's work has such deep meaning to me personally I mean I know millions of people feel this way but sometimes I feel like he's communicating just to me Marge Jackson fan club are you should be I have a fan club <laughs> I mean look at pieces like Prometheus Sanctuary or Cavern Dwelling if those pieces weren't meant for me then I just don't know. I took a picture with him once. I'm sorry, I get emotional. But it was the best moment of my life. Vaughn Stephen Kelly, what can you say? I mean, the public image of VSK is shrouded in enigma. I mean, this guy, he, he, he's reclusive to the point of near invisibility. And more remarkably, when he has been quoted, he's often denouncing the importance of the implication of his works. But the fact of the matter is this. You can't create artwork like Rubrics Foundation or, or <laughs> Choice Quest Deviation without feeling it, with, with every fiber of your being. I mean, look at Purgatory Christmas. Imagine the sacrifice! Oh yeah, Purgatory Christmas. Yeah, I remember that one. He has legions of loyal fans, but like any artistic prophet, false or not, Vaughn Stephen Kelly's detractors are numerous and outspoken. He's a complete fraud. Vaughn Stephen Kelly. Vaughn Stephen Kelly? Are you fucking kidding me? Did you know his real name is Peter? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. My publicist thought the, uh, the whole Vaughn Stephen Kelly thing would be good for my image. It makes me seem like we're brooding and, uh, I don't know, nonconformist to society or something. That so-called art that he's getting rich off of, it's complete shit. A fucking baby could do it. He's scamming people and the whole thing just makes me sick. What you gotta understand about my sister is she's a total bitch. And I'm not saying this because of the money. It's not about the money. 
Oh, it's all about the money, baby. This is about morality, about using people. It's just not right. It's not about the money. It's just, it's not about the money. His non-traditional and by most standards unethical approach has earned Vaughn Stephen Kelly enemies in the art world as well. Vaughn Stephen Kelly. Vaughn Stephen Kelly. Spit on the very name of Vaughn Stephen Kelly. I wiped my ass with it too. I had those custom made. Floyd who now? Floyd Mayweather? You mean the, the boxer? I've made it my life's goal to expose Vaughn Stephen Kelly for the hack that he really is. And to let the world know that Floyd Mayweather is the true voice of our generation. I want to let it be known, Vaughn Stephen Kelly, that I'm coming for you. You hear that? I'm coming for you. He knows. He knows and he's scared. Ooh, look at me, I'm an art guy. Oh, I care so much about the quality of my work and what it means to all the people who see it. Oh my god. <laughs> How could such masterful works of art be the product of someone with such disdain and disrespect for the art form? Was there ever a time when VSK truly cared? It's a very hard man to read. Very quiet, very introverted. But beneath that rough shell, I saw a true genius. I mean, Take it like this, I mean, I stabbed my high school art teacher in the eye with a pencil. But that give you any idea of how I feel about art? I like to think of myself as a mentor of sorts, to Mr. Vaughn Steven. The assignment I gave to the class was open-ended. I told them, go make something beautiful, but focus on simplicity. What Vaughn Steven did that day was beautiful, simple, and life-changing for me. Of course, I kept the pencil. Isn't that something? Looking back, I'd say it was my finest hour. I like to think of it as an eye-opening experience. I challenge anyone that says that Vaughn Stephen Kelly isn't a true artist to look at his genre-redefining brown movement and then tell me the man isn't a master of his craft. The brown movement, ah, perfect example. I mean, you think people would start getting the message when I literally started shitting on art? But, I mean, somebody found some kind of meaning in that, too. Go figure. Look at the chaos, man. And the disorder. And the fury. Young man's fury. It's a comment on the disparity of the human soul. And a metaphor for our generation. It's brilliant. It's shit. Human fecal matter on canvas. As it turns out, the Vaughn Stephen Kelly of lore, the savior of modern art and the crusader for personal expression, was nothing more than an illusion, an elaborate farce into which the trust, hope, and love of countless fans was viciously preyed upon. And for what? Celebrity friends? Fame? Money? As we have seen, the truth about Vaughn Stephen Kelly is one of the most tragic of our time. But regardless of his impure intent, his impact on the world will forever be felt, and the initials V.S.K. will go down in infamy.